Hey guys, so this is going to be a video about me opening up the different pairs of earbuds that I have, and this is mainly between the VE Monks and the Vitos. I'm doing, a, I guess, a hardware comparison. I'm opening them up, I'm showing you the internals, I'm showing you basically the difference, and then I'm going to be desoldering the wires, and I'm going to be soldering. I'm going to be basically uh, mixing and matching the wires, the shells, the drivers, and uh, this is a slow paced video, so I do apologize in advance, but if you are in that mood, then you might enjoy this. So this is going to be a long video, so just sit tight and enjoy the video. Hey, what's up guys? So I did a review recently of three pairs of earbuds. So I did a comparison review between the Vitos, which I have here, the Fa'ils, which are right here, and the VE Monks, which are right here. So I wanted to look even deeper and see what hardware differences in inside of them. So I decided that I'm going to open up and see what the difference was. And this is basically what I found. So I've already opened them, but I'm going to open them again for the sake of this video. So I'm just going to show you guys what I found. So just give me a second. Okay, so first I'm going to open up the VE Monks. You know what? Let me open up the Vitos first. I'm going to open up the Vitos. And the cool thing about these MX500 shells is they're just very simple to open. You just kind of pop them out. So you just gently do that until they're popped out. And as you can see there, I'm going to try to focus it for you. There we go. And that is the wiring there. So as you can see, it has a little bit of a thin wire. Those are the two soldering points there. And uh, I'm just going to leave this open. So just try to remember how the wiring looks in there. It's, it's on the thinner side when compared to the Fa'il's or the VE Monks. So that is the wire on the Vitos. Remember that. So now we're going to move on to the Fa'il's. I'm just going to take this off right here. Make sure it's the left one. Yep. The Fa'il's were a little bit more complicated to pop open. A little bit on the tougher side these ones are wow there we go okay so the fails are a little bit more difficult to pop open just remember that and let's focus there on the wire and the wire there is just a little bit thicker as you can see it's probably hard to tell on camera but the wire is a little bit thicker and then you have the two soldering points they all look the same, except for also you'll notice this horseshoe around, and that's a foam. So that's a foam protector there. I guess it has to do with, um, you know what, I'm really not sure what it has to do with, but this one has it, and if I show you the Vitos, the Vitos don't have it. So surprisingly, these are the Vitos right here in my right hand, these are the Fa'ils in my left hand, and surprisingly, the Vitos don't have it, and out of these three, the Vitos sound the best. So I'm just curious as to why they sound better than the rest of them. Maybe because they don't have the foam. So this allows the bass to get a more fuller sound to them. I'm not really sure. But anyway, that is the inside. This is the inside of the Vitos. And these are the Fa'ils. Try to get a close up there. Of both of them. And as you can see, the Fa'ils are just a little bit thicker when compared to the and when compared to the um, Vitos. So the Fa'ils are a little bit thicker. So let me put these aside now and now I'm going to show you the VE Monks. Now the VE Monks surprisingly have the thickest wire. So I'm thinking maybe it has to do with the wire. Maybe the wire is just too thick for these drivers. And I'm going to further test this out by desoldering these these uh, these wires from the um, VE Monks, and I'm going to attach them to the Vitos right here, and I'm going to see if they sound the same. So essentially what I'm going to be doing again is I'm going to be taking this wire right here from the VE Monks, and remember these are the VE Monks, and I'm going to be attaching the wire, I'll solder them on to the Vito drivers right here. These are the Vito, this is the driver of the Vitos, and I'm going to be soldering that wire onto here and I'm going to be listening to the sound and seeing if the sound has improved. And if so, then I can probably assume that the thicker the wire, 
maybe the sound kind of deteriorates as the, the wire gets thicker. I don't know. Just, this is just a, a stupid assumption of mine. Maybe it's true. Maybe it's not. I'm going to have to test it out in order to see if it's if it's like that. So these are the V monks, and again, look at the just look at the wiring there. The wire is a lot thicker on the on the VE monks. So the wiring, this is this is the best wiring inside. Just look at that. The soldering points are the are the best too. If you look at that, they have the nicest soldering points. You get the nice shiny round soldering points. So I'm gonna have to remove all that solder, and you got that horseshoe just like the feels. So these are the Vitos, these are the VE Monks. Yeah, let's compare them with the Fa'ils. Just untangle that. So in my left hand, I have the VE Monks, and in my right hand, I have the Fa'ils. And you got very similar design inside, but the, um, the Fa'ils on my right side has they have a little bit of a groove there. You see that in the middle, while the VE monks don't. So they're definitely different drivers in there. And you got the same kind of design inside with the horseshoe, with the foam horseshoe. So that's that's very interesting. So I'm gonna go ahead and desolder them, change them up with the vetoes, not with the feels. I'm gonna leave the feels alone since they're fine. And I'm gonna see the difference it makes if it does make a difference. Okay guys, so I just finished changing the drivers out in these and I took a listen, I played some music with them and interesting enough, the Vitos, now these are the Vitos and they have the VE Monk drivers inside and they sound they now sound better than the VE Monks which have the Vito drivers inside. So it's very interesting. So I paid closer attention and I just looked at the build structure of both of these and uh, I noticed that inside of these, because there are no foams now, there's no insulation. So if I try to separate this, I'm just going to show you guys quickly. So if I show you guys, there's no foam, no foams around there, around the actual shell, and there are no foams around the actual drivers. So you're hearing that kind of bare bones sound as opposed to the Vitos, which have foam on the shells and they have foam on the VE Monk drivers. So again, these have the VE Monk drivers inside, and these are the Vito shells. I should have switched them. I know it's a little bit confusing. Uh, I just didn't want to bother untying the knots on there. So again, the VE Monks are now inside the Vitos, and they sound a lot better now that I have foam insulation on both sides here. And the Vitos, which, which if you saw in my previous video I was speaking about how the Vitos sound sound better than the VE Monks. I think the big the biggest issue with the VE Monks is the fact that the insulation inside is just not enough. It needs to have better insulation. So on the VE Monks, the actual drivers have the insulation as opposed to the shells. And on the Vitos, the shells have the insulation as opposed to the drivers. So these are the VE Monks with the Vito drivers, and as you can see, there are no foams inside. There's no insulation inside on the drivers, on the Vito drivers. And the VE Monk shells, there's no foam, so you get that very hollow, muffled sound. And now both of these have foams. The inside, I would try to pop that out for you, but it's very difficult. Let me see if I can try to do that. Okay, I'm going to try to pop it open now. Even though, there we go. Okay, so these are the VE Monks, VE Monk drivers with the Vito shells. And as you can see, they both have insulator foams on there. So what I'm going to do now is I think I'm going to try to add my own type of insulator foams on the VE Monks. And I'm going to see if they do sound better. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I've now added some insulation into these both in both of these um, shells right here I just pop one open for you just so you guys can see essentially what it is is it's a double-sided foam tape as you guys can see didn't do the best of job but it's got the idea it's got the metal covered inside so I just want to get a nice seal in there just push that down to seal that up 
and I'm going to try them out and I'm going to let you guys know how it sounds like. So I'll be right back. Okay, so definitely improved the sound a little bit. It added more grounding to the sound, a little bit more clarity. But I think the I think the issue is is the wire. So I think because the wire on the VMONX is a little bit thicker, the actual internal of the wire. So I'll just show you guys quickly if I can take this off. So that is the VMONX wire. As you can see, it is a little bit thicker than the Vito. So I'm going to remove the Vito shell now, and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. So, okay, that's flattened out a little bit. Let me, you know what, let me open up the, ne the next shell. You'll be able to see a little bit better. Okay. So now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to compare these two wires. I'm going to show you guys what I'm talking about. So if you look on the VE Monk wire, which is this shell right here, you can see it's a, it's a little bit thicker. It's hard to tell, but it's definitely thicker. Just grab a good angle. So now this next test, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave these, I'm going to keep these shells and I'm going to keep these drivers. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the wire out. I do have an extra, I do have a spare wire uh, just to show you guys where it is. It's actually right here. So I do have a spare wire. This is the Vito wire because I did buy two pairs of Vito earphones. So I'm going to switch it up. I'm going to use this wire with these uh, with the dry, with the original Vito drivers, obviously, but I'm going to use the same shells with the same insulation, and I'm going to see what the deal is. Maybe it's just the wire that's causing the inferior sound on the VE Monks. So I'm just going to test that out, and I will be right back. Okay, the wire has been removed from the VE Monk shell, and uh, let me just give you guys a comparison. So these are the Vitos on my left, and these are the VE Monks VE Monk wires. Just look at the thickness. These are a lot thicker. Now you can really tell the difference. So just to give you guys a nice comparison there. So now I'm going to go ahead and switch these. I'm going to put these on the V-Monks now. The V-Monk shells, that is. Okay, guys. So I did something a little bit different than what I said. I put the V-Monk drivers into the V-Monk shells, but I'm using a TRS wire. So that's not the original V-Monk wire. I wanted to see if that would make a difference again. Um, so I switched it up and these still sound, they don't sound that good. And I'm, I'm really leaning towards the fact that maybe, just maybe it has to do something, it has to do with the shells. That's just a possibility. So anyway, I switched it up and um, I put the VE Monks again, I put the VE Monks in the VE Monks shells. Put the Vitos in the Vito shells, but with the Vitos, I'm using the VE Monk wire. So that is the TRRS wire. The TRS has an extra ring to it. So this is the VE Monk wire with the Vito drivers and the V and the Vito shells. I'm gonna try one more thing now, just one more thing, and uh, I'll be right back. All right, guys, so I now have the VE Monk drivers in the Vitos, in the Vito shells with the Vito wire, and I've just tested them out, and they sound very decent. They sound very similar to the Fa'il's and the Vitos. So I'm pretty sure that it's these shells right here that are causing the sound. Something about them, maybe they, they built them differently. I don't know if all the VE Monks are like that, but I really do believe that now that it's the shells that are causing that inferior sound. So what I learned from all this is that basically the VE Monk shells are garbage. and But the VE Monk drivers are decent because I've just tested them out in these Vito shells. And they sound, they sound just like the Fa'il's and the Vito's. So that, that's basically it, guys. I mean, there's not much else to it. Maybe they're just a lighter type of shell. Maybe they're just constructed differently. I don't know, but the sound is definitely worse on these than on the Fa'il's or the Vito's. Now, remember that I also did try taking out the drivers from the Vito shells 
and I tried putting them into the VE Monk shells and just to hear what it would sound like and it didn't sound that great. Then I tried taking the VE Monk drivers, I put them in the Vitos and they sounded very decent. So I tested out the wire, it wasn't the wire. I tested out the driver, it also wasn't the driver. In the end, it was the shells that was causing that inferior sound. So guys, that's going to be it for this video. If you do have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. Be sure to hit that like button. And uh, as always, thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys on the flip side.